A sole source contract given to a former liberal MP from Quebec, $276 million to make ventilators. And supposedly those ventilators are $10,000 more per ventilator than the market. What's going on? Jasmine Moulton is from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation and is in joining me right now because I'm almost, almost apoplectic when I hear these things. And then earlier this week, the government said, we don't even want to tell you who we're doing business with because they're going to be afraid for people to know how much money they're making. This sounds like a dictatorship. What do you say about this, Jasmine? Well, it sounds like a government that was elected on sunny ways isn't being so uh, sunny or transparent anymore. Uh, as you say, it's at the beginning of the pandemic, everyone said, let's get this out fast and let's not ask questions. But now, uh, I think starting with the We Charity scandal, a lot of people are starting to pause and say, there's a lot of money going to friends of the Liberal Party. Maybe we need to be more, uh, we need to scrutinize the spending a little bit more. Wouldn't that be just a normal thing in any event? If a government spends money, it should go out to tender, should go to the cheapest provider of the contract, and it should be public knowledge. If you know, GM is making some sort of car for the government, it should be public knowledge Absolutely. of what they're paying for. So how? How does anyone explain, I, I should, I want, how do they explain the arrogance of this government? <laughs> I think I have no idea how to explain that, but uh, certainly that's the whole point of public tendering is that you want to get the best value of dollar for taxpayer money. You want to make get the best product at the best price. But when there's no transparency around it, and we even saw uh, Patty Hadju, the health minister this week, scoff at Michelle Rempel when she called for better freedom uh, of, to information uh, process. So I think it's a that's big- That's the right word, scoff. She scoffed. I mean, they're very arrogant. How dare you ask us where we're spending your money? And we get actually, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation does a lot of freedom of information requests, and sometimes we'll get pages back that are completely blacked out. So this is an issue. We need to make sure that uh, the money is being spent appropriately, that it's not just going to friends of the government. Right. Uh, and frankly, during this whole pandemic spending uh, spree, a lot of questions have rightly come up about where these contracts have gone. Actually, it does incur suspicion when they won't tell you what even what company is getting the money then you assume now after we and this Quebec MP that's going to Liberal Insiders. Absolutely. Well, like we saw, they spent over $10,000 more per ventilator compared to their comparable uh, counterparts in the market. So we yeah. could, taxpayers could have saved up to $100 million had they just sourced, uh, you know, asked for bids from different companies. Boy, oh boy. The arrogance is palpable. Jasmine, thanks very, very much. <laughs> that was a good three minutes. So thank you for watching. In response to many queries, I want you to know I don't always dress like Don Cherry. He dresses like me, sometimes. But seriously, we are going to continue to follow the stories that matter to you. The corruption in Ottawa, COVID, the response of officials to it, and what's going on with your taxpayers' money. If you like these stories, please subscribe. You can press the button, it's right up there. And my webpage is right down below here. It's free and we are providing the service because we want to make sure that Canadians know what's going on.